Thanks for joining us tonight. Tonight, a microbiologist has gone public saying he has lab results showing toxic mold in Cherokee County schools. Reaction from the online post is prompting the district to order air quality testing in every building from elementary to high school. Our Ben Hoover joins us now. And Ben, this has caused a real uproar within the schools in Cherokee County. The, the superintendent, in fact, has responded. That's right, Gordon. The outcry was enough for the superintendent to ask inspectors to expedite air quality results from schools that have already been tested when results really weren't expected for another couple of weeks. It all started days ago when Donnie Patterson says he felt he had no choice but to blow the whistle on the schools that he once attended. I feel like I'm the you know, male Aaron Brockovich of Cherokee County right now. That feeling, Donnie Patterson says, comes from the response to his Facebook post last week. A photo of a ceiling tile covered in mold, he says, came from one of the schools in Cherokee County. I took to social media because I wanted people to know this happens. This is out there. I didn't want anybody to be at the doctor and confused and scared. A product of the district himself, now he's an environmental microbiologist in Spartanburg. Patterson used his own lab to test samples, he says, came from multiple schools, delivered to him by teachers. Some he says have gotten sick and are afraid to report their concerns to the district out of fear for their jobs. Superintendent Dr. Quincy Moore disputes Patterson's claim, saying teachers are encouraged to report health and safety concerns. To think that anybody might feel unnerved to report something is, that bothers me most because we will, we may have a problem. Patterson says over 100 people have reached out to him with stories and photos of problems. These pictures Patterson shared with 7 News. He says a student snapped these at Blacksburg High School today. They appear to show visible mold near an air unit. At Grenard Middle School, Patterson says pictures taken this week show mold on floor tiles. On the ceiling, that black part, he suspects, is toxic death mold known to kill horses and cattle. And these, Patterson says, were taken in August at Gaffney High School, showing mold in student lockers. Superintendent Moore says many buildings in the district are old but safe, and when air quality and mold concerns come up, they're addressed and fixed. The safety of the children is the most important thing to me. Now, Dr. Moore says that Patterson never reached out to her about his lab results and concerns, the ones that he posted on uh, social media. He says at least six teachers have reached out to him uh, claiming that they have been sick from mold inside their classrooms. Even Dr. Patterson has said as, recent, as recently as this year, one teacher has come forward and complained about problems in her classroom, and they've gone in, and she says that they've, they've fixed it. So, so now the Cherokee County School District has gone out to get their own independent group to do a testing on these same schools? Yes, it's a it's the it's the same one that's actually that actually inspected uh, did one inspection at the Spartanburg County Courthouse. Mm -hmm. But yes, so they it's a Spartanburg company that they have had on the payroll for years as part of their their building plan, mm -hmm. for their school building plan. And she just calls them up whenever there are problems and they go out and figure out if there is a problem and she says that they fix it and they've been doing it for years. Well, it would be very interesting to see if that company comes back with test results similar to the ones in this story. That's right. And those will come back in, in a couple of weeks. All right, Ben, thank you. We'll look for that. Yeah. Uh, case of